think about things you miss because of how short our time on Earth is. Uh, I, the best example I can give is when you walk around and say, oh, there's a nice puffy cloud. You don't stare at it for an hour, you just notice it. Right. If you do a time lapse of the cloud, especially cumulus clouds, they are roiling, gurgling, boiling places of condensed water vapor. They're alive. Yet, when you walk down the street, you think it's just sitting there peaceful and calm, if, if it's just a simple cloud. So, even something that does change in your lifetime, you don't think of as an actively roiling place. The, a cloud. So imagine longer, imagine mountain building on Earth. Imagine watching the Hawaiian Islands pop up or come, imagine watching ice ages come and go. Imagine watching species of life rise up, the dinosaurs, and then an asteroid comes, they go extinct, essentially overnight on the, in the fossil record. That's a whole other way to see the world. And it's the task of the geologist, the astrophysicist, to Think about how that works. Fortunately, we have computers that can speed up time. I, I'll give you a great example. We used to have catalogs of galaxies. We say that's a really messed up looking galaxy there. Let's make a catalog of irregular galaxies. So we have a catalog of beautiful galaxies and irregular galaxies. And then people came up with theories. How does a galaxy become irregular? No one knew until we realized galaxies collide. Galaxies feel each other's local gravity collide and it's a train wreck. And half the irregular galaxies are train wrecked galaxies. There's a famous astronomer, Gerard de Vaucouleur, who said a wrecked Lexus is still a Lexus. <laughs> it just happened to be in a car accident. <laughs> so, so we would learn. Now, how do you get to know that galaxies collide? You, you put in the forces of gravity on a computer, run the simulation, and watch it unfold. And there you can recreate the havoc that you see in the universe on 100 million year timescales.